You're gonna do squats now, okay? Yes. All right. That was 90, 98% correct. Okay. Perfect. Your negative should be slightly more slower than your positive, okay? You know, bouncing creates so much strain on the tendons and ligaments in, in the knee and so much problems that you might not feel it till you reach a later age. You're still young, you can do it. You end up doing another three or four reps, more maybe, because you're doing it faster, yes. but half of those reps are wrong. I could actually prove that by slowing down the movement, you're actually lifting a lot more weight by even just slowing it by even 25-30%. You should do some um, hamstring sure. curls. Okay, do it the way you usually do it. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you're not doing anything wrong. If you're doing anything wrong, I will correct it. And then you do it again and you tell me the difference. Okay. okay. I like the fact that you kept your body up instead yeah. of going down, which okay. is better because it eliminates using your bum too much. Yeah. Um, it's my weak point anyway. Okay. 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 So, what I needed you to do, you know, halfway through, you were still in nice and control, and then you started going faster. You're rushing it, okay? To the limit more. I know you're doing a lot of reps, but if you slow it down a little bit more, I want you to take it to the limit. Hi, Dylan. How you doing? You're doing chest today, yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. First of all, your grip is too narrow, okay. okay, which means you're using too much tricep yeah. instead of, this exercise is for your pecs, yeah. so, you know, any exercise that you're doing for the body, in any, in any body part, you should try and eliminate any, anything that's coming from elsewhere to help you do the exercise. The majority of, 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 of your energy and force should be coming from your pecs. It, this is an incline bench, which is supposed to be for upper pecs. Yeah. People don't realize upper pecs, it's only this part here. It's a very thin part on your pectorals, okay? Which is hard to hit. And when I look at you, I can see you have very dominant front delts, which means they're taking over. And because you've got it high, you're developing your shoulders more than your pecs. And that gets worse as you, as you train longer and longer and longer, the front delts become more dominant, the pecs don't get enough stimulation, you're using your triceps too much, and then you'll end up, I can see the way you are now, your, your, your shoulders are overshadowing your pecs. Okay? So, two things you've got to do. We've got to lower the, the bench to the correct angle. I want you to try and get a slightly wider grip and still bring the bar onto your upper pecs. Okay? Don't worry, we'll do yeah, some, yeah, we'll do some yeah. workouts together. Yeah. Okay, 
Two things. First of all, set the machine correctly because you had it too far back, right. which means you're stretching too much and end up hurting yourself trying to put the, trying to put the weight back. Right. Okay? Um, the weight you use is a little bit too light, yep. but you're doing it too fast. You're doing the movement too fast. You, and I can see you ended up doing nearly 20 reps, yep. which is for hypertrophy is not the ideal number, like basically to make the muscle grow, because I assume this is what you want to do, you want to get big. You know, people have this misconception about, oh, if I do low reps, I'm, I'm building muscle, if I do high reps, I'm creating definition, which is yeah. rubbish. So, what we're going to do is, I'm not going to change the weight, okay, just to prove something to you, but I, I want you to do the movement in a much slower manner, okay? And, be, when you, and also getting the, the getting the, the, the show me again how you did it before how you go okay get one for, forward first now you can lean back and grab the other one okay make sure okay perfect okay I want you to try and keep your arms straight every time you lock yeah. you, the movement try and strain your arms okay. if you bend your elbows even by 20 degrees you'll yeah. be using more front delt to actually move the weight instead of your pectoral muscles okay yeah. so you can bend your elbows on your way back, it's no problem. A bit more if you want, that's it. Yeah. And breathe naturally, don't hold your breath. Right it? Okay. Look at your breathing now. You're breathing more. Sweating. You're sweating more and you did less sweat. Yeah. You did about you know, 25%, 30% less reps. And look, look at your breathing. <laughs> you see, so just, we didn't even change the weight. No. We left the same yeah. weight. Yeah. But now, what you did, look, you're sweating on your chest. Feel it as well. You can feel it. Well, that's the biggest yeah. thing. That, in reality, it's that feeling that before you didn't really feel it, did you? You just stopped because you couldn't do any more. Yeah, yeah. You think you feel it, but I, I feel it now. Trust you, me. Now you feel it. Yeah. You see? Yeah. Now, that means you can do less sets, less exercises, create more stimulation, conserve energy for recovery, yeah. and that's how you improve. All right. That was 98% 90, correct. Okay. Perfect. And I said 98%, he said 100%. Oh. Okay? But he's, it's because she's pretty and she's good looking, so he's trying to... Be, but I'm honest. Now, Paul said, oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're supposed to be spotting, lift the apple. I was talking to the big fella. You're supposed to be spotting him, really killed him. Are you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you alright? <laughs> This is Anthea, by the way. She's the manager. Don't put me in there. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you feel it, eh? You're right. You're not going to see your face. Look, look at your breathing. Right. <laughs> Get off the seat for me. Sorry. 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 Sor